We are now interviewing Miss Angela Estrella. Please tell me your role and your involvement in the Titans fan film. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for having me. I'm very grateful. Um, as for the question, my role in Titans of Tomorrow is I am co-director. I do video editing and I um, write as well some of the script. Hmm. So I help with writing the script as you know that we have this amazing script that I can't wait for you guys to see these amazing actors, you know, showcase to you the amazing work that we've done so far. How did this idea become come to be? Who who started it? Um, well, it originated from one person mm -hmm. being um, mainly the, I want to say the main character, I mean, but everyone is sort of have their own story in this. Yeah. But um, the main character being Connor Kent, Superboy, as you guys know, and he came with this idea, which was a spinoff of another show that he was, that he was also producing as well at that time. So what happened to the other show? Things got a little messy and um, just things didn't fall in place as in time. Every uh, Schedules were crazy. So we have a new brand new team and we're working towards getting this show actually done and ready. So what can stop the scheduling mishaps? Um, we uh, work around the uh, cast members schedules so we you know we ask everyone who is available what day and certain like for if we're going to film for an entire cast meaning that everyone's going to be in a like a scene mm -hmm. then um we'll let them know but if it's just one specific person contact them and them only and let them know that this being you know from this time to this time and hopefully they'll be available what storylines can we look forward to I think, um, which I wrote the backstories to most of these, um, amazing stories that you're going to love. Um, for example, Honor Kent's whole backstory is very interesting, mm. to say the least. It is mind-boggling. I will not get to that because it would all be revealed in the story as it comes along. So they all have something in common, which is... They want to prove themselves in a way and show that they're more than what people think and more than, than anything, you know what I'm saying? That prove their worth is what I'm trying to say, that they're worth something. Not just these, what I'd like to say is not just regular people, but, mm -hmm. you know, something more. Okay. Superhuman. Okay, so I see that it's very, like, striking to, like, the real demographic because we're all trying to find... Who we really are so how is this going to reach our audience like how is this going to reach what demographic are you guys actually looking to hit i think we are trying to hit the um, i want to say all types of the, uh demographics being young old and um young adults because we want this show not to only just be about Yes, the superheroes, the powers, the this, but also transcend a, a deeper meaning. Thing. We want the show to transcend a, a message to each and everyone because at any age, there's room for improvement and there's room to learn. Mm -hmm. Learning never stops. So we want to transcend the message that, you know, all sizes, equality, and everything is all in the same circle and that there's nothing outside of that that we can't embrace and love as um, mankind, you know what I'm saying? So I, I guess that would be what we want to achieve other than showing some amazing, you know, acting and story, but show that there's a message behind all this other than what you see on screen. It was nice speaking to you. Um, thank you so much for coming on our little interview, you know, just to enlighten more people about the um, Titans. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> um, thank you so much. And we'll be talking to all of you guys again. All right. Thank you.